Well, with no end in sight to the strike at York University, the union representing 3,000 contract workers has now filed an unfair labor practices complaint against the school. QP claims that York is not acting in good faith by misrepresenting and impersonating the union during negotiations. Now, among the allegations, QP says York appropriated the web domain QP3903.com, fraudulently redirecting traffic to their own site. York says the complaints are without merit and want a quick decision from the Labour Board. More than half of classes have been cancelled since the strike began on the 5th of the month. A live look from York University where a group of students are staging a sit-in demanding the school cancel all classes until the nearly three-week-old strike is over. About half the classes cancelled since the March 5th contract faculty strike began. We'll check in with our Tammy Sutherland shortly. Meanwhile, other news we're following here at home. Students, they say they are fed up with the strike at York University and they are staging a sit-in. They are demanding that all classes be cancelled until this dispute is over. Let's get live to our Tammy Sutherland with details on this protest. Tammy, how's it look at this morning? What are people saying? Well, this morning right now, you can see we're live inside the Senate chambers. This is where uh, just over 20 students here spent the night after the uh, York University's, their last Senate committee meeting yesterday, where they voted to continue classes during the strike, at least the classes that can continue. Now, these students here, they vowed to occupy these Senate chambers until the Senate decides to cancel all classes while the strike is ongoing. They are supporters of members of local QP Local 3903. They have been walking the picket lines for about three weeks now and cancel, classes have been canceled, about 40% of them according to the university, but the students here are calling for all of them to be canceled. One student we spoke with this morning says that other students feel like there's pressure to cross those picket lines every day. I don't have this personally, but some of my classmates that their professors are still putting pressure on them to come to class and that's not fair uh, to them because they're being withheld from academic resources that they paid for, whether that's the TAs, whether that's like writing help, all these kinds of things. Now, the union has also filed what they call an unfair labor practice against York University. They claim that the university has been unfair in their practices. They're also acting not in good faith. They claim that the university has been misrepresenting and impersonating them during the actual bargaining that's been taking place. Now, both sides did meet starting on Tuesday morning, but those talks quickly broke down. In the meantime, the students here that remain, they say that they will continue to occupy this space until those classes are cancelled. Their demand originally was for classes to be cancelled by midnight tonight, but they say if that doesn't happen, this occupation could continue longer than that. Mel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tammy Sutherland, thank you for that. Meanwhile, other news, students say they are fed up with the strike at York University. They are staging a sit-in and they are demanding that all classes be cancelled until this dispute is over. Let's get live to our Tammy Sutherland standing by uh, with details on this sit-in. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Melanie. As a sign said here, students are standing in solidarity with members of QP Local 3903. They've currently been on strike for about three weeks. And if you take a look, these students here this morning, they all started here at about five o'clock attending a Senate meeting and then decided that they were going to sit in here. These students actually slept here overnight last night, wanting their demands to be heard. They want all classes to be canceled during this strike. They say that there's too much pressure for them them to cross those picket lines even though they don't want to. Right now the university says about 40 percent of the classes here on campus have been cancelled since the contract strike or contract workers rather walked out on strike and the students here say that the stress of the strike is making campus life unbearable. Everyone is hesitant. People, some people go to the class, some people don't go, and some teachers put pressure on them, like randomly. Some don't. So it's not really a very good situation, I think. Right now, there's a lot of confusion. Uh, the fact that you can cross pick lines, and the fact that you have the full right not to, uh, the fact that right now you're going to be stopped at the pickets and everything. It makes sense, right? There's disruption going on. We want all classes canceled, so you can come back to the bargaining table and uh, take the demand seriously. Okay.
Now, the union has also filed an unfair labor practices complaint against York University. They claim that York is not acting in good faith and accuse the school of actually misrepresenting and impersonating the union during their current negotiations. The students here, not only are they calling for the classes to be cancelled by midnight tonight, they're also calling for a full refund of their tuition so far. And they say that if they don't get those classes cancelled by tonight, they are prepared to stay here as long as it takes. Mel, I'll send it back to you. All right, Tammy, thank you so much for that. About 20 York University students hold up inside the Senate chambers, refusing to leave until all classes are cancelled at the school until the strike is over. Students claim they are being unfairly asked to cross the picket lines. The contract faculty strike began on March the 5th. I'm sorry, and, and poor Tammy has been waiting patiently as well. She's standing poor by Tammy. live at York University. One might say she's champing at the She's bit. champing at the bit to talk to us right now uh, where uh, a number of uh, students have taken over the Senate chamber room and are refusing to leave. Uh, Tammy, what's the latest there? Yeah, so about 20 of them actually slept overnight here in the Senate chamber room in uh, New York University's campus. And they say that they're going to stay here as long as it takes for the university to respond to their demands. And there are two demands that they want uh, met. Number one, to have all classes cancelled during the strike that now involves QP Local 3903 contract staff. And number two, they want a full tuition refund for the students who have had to endure this strike. They say that they want the classes cancelled because they're feeling excessive pressure from professors to actually cross the picket lines and they don't want to have to do that. And of course, they want the tuition refund because they feel that this semester has now just been thrown out the window over the last three weeks with the uh, strike continuing. Now, the picket lines are back up in front of the school itself. The school says that they're aware of this sit-in and they are monitoring it right now. Of course, we'll see how long uh, the students here will be staying here, whether it's happening throughout the weekend, uh, coming up a little bit later. I'll send it back to you guys. Thanks, Tim. All right. Yeah, my son has been up uh, in, in that, involved in that. Uh, he's in residence there. So he's Nothing been going there. on but protests. And the nice thing that stu for students now is that now that there's a subway, there's an easy way to, to access the uh, university campus yep. without having to go through uh, picket lines. Yeah.